Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my uh, my review, my weekly review for uh, Marvel's What If. And today we're talking about episode eight, What If Ultron One. And so this continues off of the very end of the last one, and is clearly continuing on after this. Um, but just for anyone who may not have seen this yet, there will be spoilers. Just letting you know, so spoilers will begin in three, two, one, now. This was a good episode, but only part of it. <laughs> um, I'll get to what I feel is weaker first. So, this takes place in a world where Ultron won, where he succeeded in his goal. He uh, brought his version of peace to the world and the universe and everything. And from what we can tell, really, there's only two notable people, only two uh, Avengers, for sure, left. And that is, unfortunately, the weak part of this. Because the, the two they went with make no sense for being the last two to survive. And honestly, brought down the episode a little bit in my eyes. Because the two survivors are Hawkeye and Black Widow. Of all the Avengers to have survived Ultron, they went with Hawkeye and Black Widow. Like, n not Captain America, not Iron Man, not Hulk, not any of them. Like, if this is, like, during the events of Age of Ultron and stuff, like, would not Scarlet Witch be there, too? But the ones who survive are the least impressive, the least interesting, and just generally the worst members of the Avengers in the MCU. In the, and I specify in the MCU. It just makes very little sense to me that those two are the ones who survive. And again, because they're my least favorite characters in the MCU, pretty much, just the fact that they're the ones who survive kind of is, is irksome to watch because it's like, I don't want to be following them. I don't care. I, I just don't. Um, but then we get to the good stuff in this episode, and that's mostly centered around the Watcher, Uatu, and, um, and Ultron himself. So, the Ultron-Vision combination thing we saw last episode, it's just Ultron, and he had gained the body of Vision like he wanted to originally. He, he's wiped out humanity on the Earth, for the most part. And we see him go throughout the universe and start to wipe out other planets and stuff, too. Um, and we get to see multiple planets that we know, such as uh, Thor's world. Um, I can't think of the name of right now for some stupid reason. My mind is completely just blanking on that. Um, but we get to see a bunch of these different worlds, and he takes them all out pretty easily. The only exception, the only one where he gets a fight is with Captain Marvel on uh, where she's at, um, she gives him a fight. And it makes sense because it's Captain Marvel. She's one of the strongest characters in the MCU by far. Like, this is canon. <laughs> um, so it makes sense that she would be able to give him a fight, but in the end, he still manages to win, kill her, and destroy the planet. Eventually, he just takes care of everything in the observable universe, but then he hears U Uatu narrating. The fourth wall is broken again. Somehow, he is able to notice Uatu, the Watcher. Um, it makes sense that Doctor Strange would have been able to, but the idea that Uatu was or the, the idea that Ultron was, rather, it's like, 
even with the Infinity Stones that he has, which, by the way, the way he got those was honestly kind of fucking hilarious. Because it's like, he, he, t- he took out everything on Earth, then all of a sudden Thanos walks through, and it's like, oh, that's interesting. Slices Thanos right in half and takes the Infinity Stones. It's like, oh. So the idea is basically that Ultron, if he had succeeded, would be a much more dangerous adversary than Thanos ever was, which is fun. Um, but so somehow I, that's the only thing I can think of that would give him the ability to, but it, it makes no real sense, I feel. But somehow he does have that ability. He Somehow he is able to, um, like notice Uatu and because of it he breaks into the pocket dimension that Uatu is watching him from and everything and this episode gives us a big multi-dimensional fight between Uatu and Ultron and while the former is just mostly defending um, he does get some offensive action in as well. A- and it's easily the coolest part of this entire series so far. Uatu, not just taking action, but specifically the way it's done, the multidimensional fighting and everything, is just so fucking cool. <laughs> and-, and it sucks that this episode was brought down a bit by... Clint and Natasha just being as milk toast as they always have been, because it's like, it's so good outside of that. If they had just focused on Uatu and Ultron, I think it would have been better. Because in the at the end of the last episode, they showed that Uatu was surprised by Ultron breaking through the multiverse. This wasn't something that was supposed to happen. And, and so they don't really follow up on that as much. Uh, yes, he's surprised in this episode, too, about it all, about the situation. But it doesn't really go as heavy with it. And, and again, the, the fact that it follows Clint and Natasha on their entire uh, journey to try and find Zola to be able to ha- basically hack into Ultron is just like, why, why do we need this? We don't need this. Because, because the theories after last episode were that Uatu was going to gather a bunch of these multiversal versions of the, the heroes we've seen. He was going to gather uh, evil Doctor Strange, or as he's actually called, Doctor Strange Supreme. Um, he was going to gather uh, Star-Lord T'Challa. And so on and so forth. He was going to gather all of these different heroes and create like a multiverse Avengers. That was what everyone was expecting. And that might still happen because at the end of the episode, he does go to uh, Strange Supreme for help. And it it does seem like there's a possibility that that could still go somewhere. But again, the stuff with Natasha and Clint just seems like so unnecessary it seems like time wasting and filler that just isn't needed and then it just takes away from the good stuff of this episode and the and the potential of what could have been done throughout this episode if that time was available um also to note ultron does not have the same voice as the as in Age of Ultron, he's voiced by the same guy uh, Ross Marquand who voiced Red Skull. And unlike with Red Skull, where he does a good voice for Red Skull, he doesn't do a good one here. It's it's noticeably different and not in a good way. It, it just it doesn't sound even slightly similar. And. It just doesn't sound like what Ultron should sound like. It's so underwhelming. Um, And it does throw me off a little bit watching, but it's not 
terrible. It's not that terrible to where it ruins the entire episode. Let's put it that way. But it is super noticeable, and it does distract very heavily. Um, and it's just, I, I just, I feel like this episode could have been just so much better without, the, without that stuff. But they had to have at least a couple of the Avengers in here. It's just like, why could they, couldn't they have chosen someone else? Tony would have made so much more sense narratively and would have made more sense in terms of just everything, pretty much. Having it be Tony and, like, uh, Wanda would have been fantastic just because it would have added some interesting dynamics there. But no, instead, they again, they went for the two most milk toast characters possible. Easily the two weakest in just every way. And again, part of that is just because I don't like either of them. I don't, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I just feel like it was a weird and kind of stupid decision, and it just dragged down on a lot of it. Honestly, I, I would have rather had it been in this universe, just everyone had died. And, and it was just centered around Uatu and Ultron in this one. I think that would have been better. I think it would have made more sense. It would have worked better. I just, I, I don't feel like... I, I don't feel like it works with how they did it. Um, again, the episode is not like straight up bad or anything. There's a lot of good to it. Even if it is mostly just action focused in this one. There is a lot of good to it, but the, the negative stuff does weigh down on it a bit. And does keep it from being really great. It keep honestly, if it wasn't for that stuff, this probably could have been the best episode of the series. But it definitely continue it, it definitely still pales to other episodes because of that. And yeah. But it does, like I said, seem like it's gonna be continuing. Because at the very end, the watcher uh, Uatu had to go to Strange Supreme for help. So the possibility of creating a multiversal Avengers is still there. And honestly, that's what I hope they do because it just makes the most sense. Um, but this is a continuing storyline, it seems like. It started at the very end of last episode. It continued throughout all of this one. And now I assume it's going to continue through all of the next one, too. Like, this is like an ongoing story. Because here's the thing. If for what, if for any reason, if for any reason they chose to drop this storyline and just not have it conclude, to not have it finish at this point, it would probably ruin this series. For, like, not just for anyone in particular, but it would irreparably hurt this series because this storyline feels like everything that this series has been building up to so if they just dropped it and like had it like oh this was just for this episode it was just kind of a little fun thing we did that would be insulting if nothing else and just really fucking stupid like you're gonna get the watcher actually involved in something and not follow through no 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 you have to fucking follow through so i feel like i feel like they are going to follow through with it but i'm st i still am worried because there have been multiple episodes here that needed to be two parters and never actually got a valid conclusion because they were just one episode and it just ended and so it's like, I, I don't want that to happen with this. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't even know how many episodes this is actually supposed to be in total. Because this is episode eight. Oh, it's, it's nine episodes. Next episode is actually the last episode. I did not know that. I actually did not know that. And it says a second nine episode season is expected to premiere as early as 2022. Okay, so if there's only one episode left, yeah, they're not going to drop it. They can't at this point. 
So I, I am wondering if they are going to do a multiversal Avengers though, because if if it's if the last episode's gonna be thirty minutes again, as all the episodes have been, it's probably gonna feel a little rushed if they try to bring everyone in. And if they don't, if they just have it be like Strange Supreme, it's gonna feel a little underwhelming. So I I, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes next week. But yeah, um, this series just overall has been pretty good. Not a, not perfect, but pretty good. And I, I can't really feel like, I don't really feel like I can compare it to the other MCU Disney Plus shows because just because of what kind of series it is. It's so drastically different. It's like, you can't really compare it to stuff like Falcon and the Winter Soldier or Loki or WandaVision. It's a completely different kind of series. Um, but we'll see how it ends next week and kind of just go from there. So thank you all so much for tuning in. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See you all next time.